What's up guys, in a previous video I showed you how I installed a simple solar system on my shed. And in this video, we're going to make use of some of the power that we're generating. First, a little update on the backyard. We've installed a small paved pathway in front of the shed, which makes it easier to get to, and we've also leveled both areas of our backyard in preparation for some turf. The gardens were also cleared and leveled as best as possible, and we're just planning to bark it for now. Here's how the backyard is looking. To tie things in and make the space feel a little more cosy, I'm going to install some festoon lighting. So as usual, I headed to Bunnings. Love that place. There were tons of lighting options here, but what I'm looking for is some good quality outdoor rated lights that can run off DC voltage. I bought these LED cafe lights by Lightworks, and it was my lucky day as there was a partially open box for half price since the transformer was missing, which in our case we don't need. Score, Bunnings delivering their goods once again. I also went and grabbed some gear to make a catenary wire. This catenary wire will help support the string of lights and reduce cable fatigue. And of course, since we're near the coast, I bought stainless steel everything. We talked and figured for a little while and worked out that since the lighting looms are 11.5 meters each, we would have enough length for spanning the retaining wall to the house four times. I got the missus to give me a hand on this one, and you should definitely get some help if you plan on following along. We use the alfresco columns as a reference and mark the centre where we'll install two of the stainless eyelets for the catenary. Unfortunately, I lost a bit of footage, so I just made this in Microsoft Paint to show you how the cable is run. We basically installed eyelets at six different points and extended some stainless cable out between each point. I used a combination of turnbuckles and cable grips at the far ends so that I can adjust the tension of the cable and get it nice and tight. Again, it was helpful having a second set of hands to do this, but if you're by yourself, some vice grips are a good second option. This is the start of our catenary. That's a bit how you're going. It's alright, so our turnbuckle here we can tighten it. Goes across to that eyelet. Put us all the way along to that point on the house there. A bit hard to see, but it comes back. Same point there, and then again, that point just there, and it finishes over there. So here's one of those things. All that yellow stuff is just corrosion proof stuff. And on the far end, same sort of thing. Two muckles to tighten it up. Lift it pretty loose at the minute, but once we add some weight to it, it'll stiffen it up a bit more. So, there we go, it looks pretty good. Now we have a good catenary wire in place, we can hang the lights up. The lights have this little eyelet as part of each light housing, which makes them easy to hang with cable ties. I made sure the cable ties I used were decent quality ones that are UV stabilized. So, the first pack of lights was just the right length to get to the center point of the run and I need to connect it in series to the next pack of lights. To do this, I just soldered the cables together and made sure to heat shrink it nicely. To connect the lights to my solar system, I'm feeding the cables through this gland and into my circuit breaker shroud. These lights are meant to be run off mains voltage using an included transformer, but I want to run it off my solar, so I need to step the voltage down from the 24 volts DC of my system to the voltage required by the lights, which is 12 volts DC. So I'm using this 24 to 12 DC to DC converter that I purchased at JCAR and a circuit breaker I salvaged from an old project for added isolation. Oh, and I added a Wi-Fi relay so I can turn the lights off and on with my home automation setup. There's not much to show in the way of wiring but I'll put up a diagram for those that are interested on how I did it. And here's how it looks installed. Sweet, now we can turn them on, let's see how it looks. They're all on. Hard to see in the video, but they're on. Wait till it's night time.
Oh well, not too bad for a few hundred dollars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next one, I'm working on a custom office build, so stay tuned for that. I'll leave you guys with some nice pics. See you again soon.